Hi everyone and welcome to this video from Excel Tips. In this video, we will show you how you can calculate the number of months between two dates using a very simple Excel formula. The formula that we will be using is date diff and this is one of the very few undocumented formulae in Excel. When I say undocumented, I mean that you will not get any guidance or drop down when you type this formula and you would need to know the parameters, the exact parameters in order to use this formula. However, this is a very simple formula and it just needs three parameters. So let us see this in action. So here we have two columns. So we have the start date and the end date and we want to find out the number of months between each of the between the start date and the end date. So let us see how the date diff works. So we'll say equal to date diff and as you can see there is no drop down. So we will have to remember what the parameters are. So we will say open brackets. The first parameter that we need to provide is the start date. The second parameter, say comma, the second parameter we need to provide is the end date. And the third parameter is the unit or for which we want to calculate. So here we want to calculate the date difference in months. So we will say M. So we will say open quotes M. Uh, open quotes M, close quotes, clo close bracket and as you can see there are five completed months between this date and this date. And just to fill, to calculate all the other months, uh, all the other rows, it's just pretty simple, just double click and it would fill it for you. Now this date diff is a very versatile formula for date calculation and not only can it calculate the number of months but it can also calculate the number of completed years or completed days so we will quickly have a look at that as well again equal to date diff same three parameters the start date the end date and the unit that we want the unit here being years which is represented as y close brackets y is in quotes enter then it is zero because there is no completed year here it is one because there was one completed year between the start date and the end date so let us quickly look at the date diff function when to calculate the number of days as well again very simple date diff also note that it is just when it is diff it is just a single f so start date comma end date comma within quotes d which is the num number of days close the brackets 168 completed days between the start and the end date and just fill it down and it is calculated for all the other rows as well so that's all there is to this very simple excel formula hope you enjoyed the video if you did give us a thumbs up or a like Thank you and have a wonderful day.